five laps down and the 38 is back out and got passed or is getting very yeah. close to being passed by the 33 of Kevin Harvick. Uh, Kevin tried to pass him off turn two and I looked like he may have brake checking a little coming off the corner. I saw some smoke fly. And it looks and like, like there's Trevor some damage Bang on Trevor Bang. Yeah, he got, yeah, he got the in. worst end of that deal. He was had chased him down and guy that was running as high as second. That. Take a look. Here's what happened. Oh. So let's get an update on the 16 an innocent victim here Jamie. Oh my gosh Marty right before that happened his crew just warned him the 38 is waiting for the 33 for a payback and right then boom he hits the back of him and Trevor said this is awful. He's beat up guys he may be coming down here they're watching the temps right now on the 16. And for Trevor only two top 10 finishes in the last 11 races including three DNFs and this one no fault of his own. As he is now side by side with Harvick. And Harvick has gotten past the 38. Whoa and look out there's trouble there. And now Harvick retaliates into the 16. Caution flag is out again. And I guess Trevor's up meter was pegged. Hold it up there. Yeah, they're gonna slide it's all frustration. Every bit of that. It's just a shame to see that for Trevor. He had a great. Yeah, I'm fine, but this, I'm just over wrecking cars because we can't get out of the pit. That's a reference to that pit stop that cost him seven spots. He was second when he came in. He came back out in ninth. Right, let's go back and show you exactly what happened here. Sixth caution of the night. See, he may have, Trevor may have got into Harvick there, got Harvick in the wall. Harvick says, okay, take that. Let's get another angle on this. That's what I saw. Not any doubt. All right, let's listen in on the radio as we look at the perspective of the 33. Now he got into me and I got loose and then wound up hitting him. From that, it doesn't sound like he's saying I deliberately. That's what I'd have said him. too, maybe. I don't <laughs> know. It's not what happened, but there's no. no doubt that he got loose and up against the wall, but he didn't have to come off the wall to. It's just, that's just frustration with what he was going through with the 38. <laughs> and I'm wondering, I think that's the same thing with Trevor. I think Trevor was just frustrated with Harvick and get caught up in his situation. Yeah, he saw an opportunity to go and he made that. And yeah, he got into Harvick just a little bit. So, you know, it's hard short track racing, just like we talk about. And tempers are going to flare. So what started out as an incident between the 38 and the 33, Leffler and Harvick ends up doing damage to the 16 of Trevor Bain where he gets his nose stuffed and then it just escalated from there and it all started a lot earlier in this race when Harvick and Leffler got together here we go Leffler felt like Harvick took him out yeah and Harvick felt like that the 38 had slowed down whether it was something in front of him or not that slowed him down he just wasn't anticipating that happening. So when uh, Leffler put it all back together, he came back out 70 laps down. He's now 71 behind in 32nd spot. And we just documented what happened there when he brake checked Harvick. And yeah, look at Harvick looking back, wondering if Leffler's going to do anything. Just keep an eye on. Road is still closed because uh, Trevor Bain's car is still in the entry area. On board with Jason. Comes Harvick to pit road anyway to do some work on his race car. Yeah, the pit road's closed, but the penalty is to have to start at the rear. He just needs to get in and get his car worked on. Here he comes, Jamie. Yeah, pit road is closed, and Kevin Harvick wants to get this damage fixed. Now he says his car got loose because of the 16. And you see him going to work on the right side. They're going to take right side tires only to focus on the damage. You see him knocking 
the spoiler down in the back. They've got their hammers out. Plus, they're working on the splitter up front, and they are going to town. A lot of damage on that right side of the car. Raced his way all the way up into fifth, guys, and uh, bad place to be, I guess, for the 16 and the 33. All right, let's get you a different perspective on this uh, last incident. How about from high above? This is going into turn one. You see Trevor Bain saw an opportunity. He was on the outside here. Had a little bit of run, but Harvick's cleared right there. Trevor was trying to cut back under him. May have gotten into Harvick a little bit. Now, that's not loose. I'm sorry, folks. You believe Harvick or what we're watching there. Here's the view from Leffler's car. Watch this. Watch this. Come on, sir. And that's what's left of the 16 being hauled back to the garage area. I think a lot of the frustration for Trevor, though, is losing all the spots on pit road. Yeah, and, and all of it goes back. He would have never been in that position if they hadn't have had the, the bad pit stop. And uh, once he got back there, it just like the frustration level was a little too high for him. And